Dang. Hey and welcome back to the channel everybody. Good to see you back for another video. Thank you for tuning in again. Really happy to see you here. So, we have a cool idea. I found this really interesting die cast. This is obviously a pickup truck, but we'll go into detail what it is here in a second. First, I'm going to tell you how I found this. I was out landscaping and we were digging in mulch bed to move some hostas, which are like big decorative outdoor plants. And we were digging them up to move them. Locations just a little bit of a different area than where they currently were. So when we were digging them up, we dug up this, this blue pickup truck. So what this actually is, it's a maisto. Let's turn it over. How do you guys say that? Maisto? Miisto? I've heard it said different ways, but it's a a Chevy Silverado. You see right there it says Maisto, Maisto, however you pronounce that. And it also says Tonka on the side, along with the Z71 badge back there. And what I'm going to be doing, which you probably know from the title of the video, is I'm going to restore this thing. I can't wait to see what I can do with it. I'll probably strip the paint off. I'm a little worried because of the scratches on the windshield. Uh, worst case scenario, I'll just paint them black. Hopefully it'll look decent. So strap in and let's get ready for a restoration because man does this thing need it. Look at this this axle back here. Or what's left of the axle. As you see the dirt is getting all over the table. Look at that. So this has been in the ground for a while. And it needs some love. I want to get it rolling again. And a little bit of a sneak peek. I love this Jada truck, but I also really love the wheels. So I've already taken out the screws. And we're putting these old school looking rims on there. And this thing is going to look great. I hope it, it works out good. If not, we'll find another donor. So let's get to drilling out these rivets and get a look at it. On to the next phase. So I've moved all my cars out of the way that were on the table here. It looks like there's a bit of a traffic jam going on, but we need to get all the good cars out of the way so there's no dirt and grime that's going to be getting all over them. So since this is a how-to, I'm going to show you step-by-step. Step. I really wanted to do this. So I take a little cheap drill. This is actually an electric screwdriver that I put a drill bit on. I could probably use a little bit of a bigger one, but this one seems to work out just fine. And these little points right here on your die-cast vehicles, now this, since this is a Maisto, um, might be a little different. Hot Wheels, as you see, the rivet's a little bit out more with this plastic kind of covering it. Either way, you should be able to get right in there. So, let me set up this camera and get a little bit better of an angle. I'm going to drill out the rivets, show you how to do it. Alright, so you want to take firm hold of your car. You want to make sure you're drilling away from yourself. As I have got myself a few times mistakenly getting myself with this drill bit. Don't want to do that, it won't be pretty. So go ahead and firmly put, place the drill bit right there on that rivet. Hold it tight, start drilling. See how I'm turning it back and forth? You don't really want to drill one spot because it'll kind of cut down that whole section. Always try to collect your metal shavings there. This is really falling apart because it's old. So. And when it starts doing that, going into your plastic, go back it out, because you don't want to drill, in this case it's metal, but some Hot Wheels are all plastic back here. You don't want to drill right through it, you know what I mean? So, And onto this one, a little bit tougher, because you can see it's down in there. So, go around. Alright, we're getting there. I'm breaking my own rule going towards myself. Gotta watch. Alright, so we've drilled a lot of that out. I want to see if I can start to separate it, which does not appear I can do that yet. Gotta get a bunch of that out of there. There's gonna be a lot of debris from this thing. So I have a little tool that I can pry this apart with. And some of you may laugh at this, but it's my broken bit. I broke more than half of it off. So what I do is I jam it in the hole that I've created. And I basically pry around 
So I get some leverage and I can pop the um, the base off of the, the body. So it looks like I'm going to need to do a little bit more drilling. Might be able to get the front off. Does not seem that I've gotten it good enough. And you don't want to break the pieces that you're working with here. So see what I did here was I drilled all the way down in there. See that? This is why I'm saying you want to go back and forth because you'll drill straight into the actual rivet itself. There we go. A little bit more is all it took. I really wanted to show you guys this process because this one's going to be messy. I cannot wait to show you how this is going to turn out. So I should have got my little um, my little tin that I collect all my shavings and things into. Well, that's quite all right. We'll just put down this piece of paper towel. That's what I use whenever I paint my customs and whatnot. Try not to ruin the logo there. A cheap little drawn up logo. So as always guys, if you're enjoying this video or you enjoy what I do, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Really appreciate that. My channel is growing steadily and I'm very happy with how far I've come just over these little guys right here. Diecast cars that we all love and enjoy. So, let's get this off. And there we go. So, let's show you the great shot here of pulling this apart. Oh man, look at all that dirt and debris. Wow. <laughs> Legit chunks of mud in this thing. In the house that I found this from, there is a little boy that lives there, so I'm sure it was his. It was underneath like the deck though. So maybe he chucked it off the edge and it just got lost in time. So what we'll do now is kind of clean out this mud before I go and wash this off. So there is part of the interior, the seats and the steering wheel. Here is the base. Thankfully I didn't destroy it too much. Looks like we'll just have to pop these up a little bit. This little piece here. And the wheels should fit underneath there perfectly, I hope. And let's see if we need to do... Is there a little rivet holding this in? It looks like it, so... You see how I drilled that rivet apart? You can see how it's not completely flat. And this one I drilled all the way into, it created a hole. So you want to be careful with that stuff. It does appear that there is a tiny little rivet in the middle here. Look at all that dirt though. Wow. So let's try to get this glass out. Just a little rivet. Don't want to drill all the way through the casting. See that? Might have a little trouble with this one. Because I don't want to drill all the way through the casting. But since this glass is on the inside of it, you shouldn't see it too much. Okay. So you can see there's a bit of metal right there. Right there on the top. Right at the end of my bit. Almost got it. It's going to go ahead and pause to make this a little bit faster for you guys. Alright, so I got it drilled out. Kind of popped a little bit of the plastic off there. You see it's not a perfect circle. But it's in pretty good shape. Here is the actual piece of the truck. You can see that shiny part right there. That's where the bit slipped off the rivet and kind of hit that. If that would have been plastic, I probably would have went through it. So, Next step is to wash all these pieces up, show you what it looks like cleaned up, and probably strip down all the paint. If it's not terrible, it's bubbling right here. So I want this to be a different color for sure. We'll do a bunch of detailing on it. So let's check out the next phase right here. Okay, so just with a quick wash and some hand scrubbing, I took my wire brush to this, a little bit to the other pieces, not to the glass though. 
But check it out, it's coming out pretty decent. It's got some dirt on it still that I have to clean off. Some scratches in the windshield. I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do about Probably just paint the glass black. Um, not too sure if I want to do that just yet, but let's go chuck this into the paint stripper. Because as you see, as I was scrubbing it, a lot was coming off, so no big deal. I'm going to completely redo it anyway, so let's go throw it in the paint stripper. Go from there. So alright, there we are, down to bare metal. Most of the paint came off. Definitely going to chip off some more of that in spots where I don't want it. Look how crazy this looks. Definitely can tell it's been underground. But let's assemble it, put it back together, and show you what it looks like without paint. Again, I've decided to use the wheels off this Jada truck. Pretty nice. I hope they fit and work really well. If not, they'll go back on it. And so here's how that's going to look. I kind of do like it, but it really doesn't fill up as much as I would like. So I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do about that, because the base is on all the way. So, got to think of something. I'll go from here, and the glass looks pretty scratched up, so I think I'm just going to paint that windshield and whatnot. We'll go from here. I don't know how much I like that super open look in the wheel wells. So I drilled out the rivets even more, lowered the truck a bit, it's kind of got a slammed look to it now. But it looks like it filled up the wheels a little bit better, the wheel wells. Time to get painting. Let's go on to the next step, right here, painting. And so, we are painting the truck, the nice gunmetal gray color. Should look really cool, I got a couple spots to fill in, let this coat dry. Um, again, since it's a how-to, I'm going to give a little bit of a, a little bit of a tip. If you're using acrylic paint, um, such as this, just regular paint that you'd paint like paintings or rocks or something with, um, try to really thinly layer it because it's going to come out a bit lumpy. So I really try to thin it out the best I can. I don't use paint thinner or anything. I just, I go over it multiple times and try to thin it. Um, doesn't always come out perfect and none of the ones that I've done this way um, have come out perfect so it's really just a matter of your preference I really need to get an airbrush kit so I can just airbrush some cool colors like maybe the Super Treasure Hunt Spectre Flame color because I've seen some really really impressive custom work so we'll get there eventually for now we're just painting them up making them look better so let's let this dry let's finish it up and we'll paint some headlight details and uh, taillight details so I'll show you how to do that right now so I added a little bit of green sparkle flake to it, painted the glass black, looks super cool. So let's get the base back on it, throw it on the turntable. So there you have it. This was a how to, how to restore and customize a truck you find in the ground. Now I'm probably going to add a little bit of headlight and taillight details, so stick around to the end of the video. Which will be right here. And here it is. Headlights, fog lights, tail lights. Looks pretty good. Try to do the badge a little bit there with some Sharpie. It's not perfect by any means, but nice little custom. A lot better than what it was. It's back to rollability. Looks super cool. So... Appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully it's a little helpful to you. Help you do some customs. So I'm out of here. Keep on collecting. Stay safe. We'll see you in the next one.